Science 6, Quarter 2, Module 1. Lesson 2. The Integumentary System. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! You have learned from the previous lesson that the skeletal system provides framework and support to the body. You have also learned that bones are classified as axial and appendicular. Do you know what other organs comprise your body and how they function? What organ covers your body? How does it protect you? The integumentary system is composed of organs that form the external covering of the body and protect it from many threats such as infection, desiccation, abrasion, chemical assault and radiation damage. In humans the integumentary system comprises the skin and its appendages acting to protect the body from various kinds of damage such as loss of water and damages from the outside. It is also made of specialized cells that secrete melanin to protect the body from the carcinogenic effects of UV rays and cells that have an immune function. Sweat glands that excrete wastes and regulate body temperature are also part of the integumentary system. The integumentary system consists of the skin, hair, nails, glands, and nerves. Its main function is to act as a barrier to protect the body from the outside environment. It also helps to retain body fluids, protects against disease, eliminates waste products, and regulates body temperature. In order to do these things, the integumentary system works with all the other systems of our body, each of them has a role to play in maintaining the internal conditions that a human body needs to function properly. The integumentary system serves as one of the first lines of defense of our body against pathogens. Hair Hair helps you to keep warm. Nails Nails give structure to the ends of our fingers. Glands Glands release oils for moisture and protection. Nerves Nerves send and receive messages to the brain. Functions of the integumentary system The integumentary system has many functions, most of them are involved in protecting you and regulating your body's internal functions in a variety of ways. It protects the body's internal living tissues and organs. It protects against invasion by infectious organisms. It protects the body from dehydration. It protects the body against abrupt changes in temperature. It helps in disposing waste materials. It acts as a receptor for touch, pressure, pain, heat, and cold. The integumentary system stores water and fat. Layers of the skin The human skin is composed of different essential parts such as the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is composed of epithelial cells that serve as the outer layer of the skin. The outer layer of the epidermal cells secrete protein which is referred to as the keratin. The dermis is the layer directly below the epidermis. This layer is 15 to 40 times thicker than the epidermis. It is composed of connective tissues to prevent the skin from tearing and enable the skin to return to its normal state after being stretched. The hypodermis is the layer beneath the dermis composed of connective tissue that stores fats and helps the body in retaining heat. 
sweat glands, also known as sudoriferous or sudoriparous glands, are small tubular structures of the skin that produces sweat. The hair root is the part of the hair below the surface of the skin. It is the part that includes and or interacts with many other associated structures within the dermis and hypodermis layers of skin. The hair shaft is the visible part of the hair that protrudes through the skin. The skin's color is created by special cells called melanocytes produce the pigment, melanin. Melanocytes are located in the epidermis. Thanks for